Um, so next, since we're already in the arms, I'm gonna identify the biceps and the triceps. Um, and the triceps are visible just on the surface. So this is one of the head groups of the triceps. The biceps, however, are underneath this muscle here. All right, so this is gonna require um, a cutting across the midline of this muscle and reflecting the, the muscle back. Um, <clears throat> so again, just for emphasis, the tricep is already revealed and the other head groups of that tricep are visible um, here. And so for the biceps, we are going to need to remove this top muscle. All right. <clears throat> so in order to do that, uh, we're going to create some incisions. And it's actually to get a better angle of this, I'm gonna rotate the cat over to the dorsal side. Um, and make the incision uh, where I see this, these two muscle groups. So I can see that there's this muscle group here and then the triceps kind of go underneath that. So what I wanna do is just separate, go along this line, and create a, an opening um, for that. So, all right, so that's just enough of an opening so that now what I can do is take my probe and actually find where is this muscle on the underneath side. All right, so I've been able to find kind of the access point in between the triceps and um, the muscle that lays over top that we're going to need to um, get around. So you can see how the probe has gone through to the other side and that lets me know where the boundary is between this muscle here and the muscle that we're trying um, to uh, bisect. So I'll kind of use that hole as my marker And now, um, again, cutting away from my body, just follow that line. And so now I've made an exit point. So now I can insert the probe here, reach over, and it should come out over on the other side, and indeed it will. So I'm actually just gonna leave that probe inserted there to really help show where this muscle separation is. So you can see I've made the cut. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna again, just leave the probe there because it's serving as an excellent marker. And I'm just gonna make a cut to bisect this muscle. So I already know what the underneath part is because that's where my probe is running and I can just make my cut all the way over to this side.
there. So I've been able to bisect that muscle and I'll clean it up just a little bit of the connective tissue. All right, so we have bisected this muscle and if we reflect it back, then we can see now the biceps um, are revealed. All right, so the biceps are a deep muscle. So you'll have to um, get to them by cutting uh, the muscle that is superficial to them. Um, in order to, like I said, you can see the triceps here. And so this is, this is a sufficient um, reveal on this muscle. Um, alternatively, to see the entire group, this very, very thin superficial muscle can be removed. Um, but I'm not going to because there's enough of a reveal um, on the, the tricep there. So we have the triceps, the triceps brachii, the biceps brachii, and then we have here our pectoralis major, pectoralis minor.